And then here is my favorite saltwater fish. What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. And as you can see behind me, there is huge aquariums and there's also huge aquariums this way. So I'm gonna be filming that basically this whole time and you're gonna see some really, really cool things. So stay tuned. And if you guys are new here, I am Luke Dombrowski. This is my channel where we have fish tanks, ponds, and basically anything else to do with fish. So let's get onto it and look at these fish. What's down there? Oh, we got some mangrove snappers in there. We got some pompanos. We got a sea turtle on that one. Some puffers. Uh, yeah, wait, some stingrays in here. A whole bunch of stuff. Oh my gosh, look at that right there. That's a grouper. That's gotta be a grouper. That looks like a strawberry. Yeah, that was sick. What? This is my body. Dude, those are some. Look how big it is. Look how big that thing is. Oh, that's a trigger. Yeah. That's that is so sick, dude. Dude, that thing is so pretty. Damn. That thing is badass. So badass. So look at this. Look at this behind me. This place is so sick. This place is awesome. And there's so many other things that we haven't even adventured yet. But look how much water is pumping out of here. And in this one right here, there's, there's baby snook. They have mangroves up there, as you guys can see, the mangrove plant. And then baby snook, mullet. They have sand perch in here too. And what do you say, sea turtles and stuff? Hogfish, really? I think it's a hogfish. Way back there? Is that a hog? No, uh, that's not a hog. That's a type of hogfish. That's some sort of hogfish, I think. Yeah, 100%. Look at the mullet right there. Right there. <laughs> and then they have a puffer fish in here, too. But I really want to see the sea turtle. He's over in the back corner over there. He has a whole bunch of... What, what is it? What's even on him? It's like a backpack. That's a mega turtle, dude. That thing is huge. Dude, it's he's, got, he's got gimpies, bro. Let's go with his arms. Oh, yeah. So I believe these sea turtles that are in here are in rehab because there's something wrong with them. The other turtle over there has like a backpack thing on it. I don't know. I don't even know what it is. But the mangroves here are really cool and the lights that are above it, the ones that people actually put on their saltwater tanks, are so bright. Look at this. And these mangroves right here also support a lot of the saltwater little estuaries and it keeps a lot of the estuaries going and that's why they are a big important life source for all the small little fish that are in the estuaries. Yeah. So you guys seen this pond right here and then the other pond over there. Now we're going to head on to the huge tank. We just made it over to the turtle section. I wanted to do this before the big tanks because a lot of people will be very interested in this. But look how cool these things are. Alright, so the guy just told us that I wasn't allowed to film that part over there because they're doing a little section, so that's the only part that you guys get to see right now. I might be able to film it after, but this thing is insane. This huge aquarium behind me. Look at this. I, this thing, how big do you think this thing is? Oh my god, I don't even know. Like, what do you think? 100,000 gallons? 100,000, I was going to say uh, 120,000. Yeah, it's insane. Huge. And all of this behind me, that huge pile of rocks is actually still live rocks. And we're right next to the ocean, so all of this is connected right to the ocean. And that's where they get their water from. So you guys cannot tell how big that moray eel is right there. But that thing is absolutely massive. And I've never, ever seen one that big in my life. That got to be 10 feet. That's what he just said. It has to be 10 feet. Absolutely but this huge, oh my gosh. And now this is onto the part where I've really been waiting for. This has tarpon, permit, um, moonfish, I see spadefish, and stingrays, and mutton snapper. So this is like the predatory tank of saltwater right here. Look at that. 
That was the tarpon, another tarpon right there. Look at that. So I'm guessing there's probably 10 tarpon in here at the most. And then there's also a barracuda over on that side. Spadefish are massive in here. I want to show you the stingray because he's really cool. And look at look how much aeration. There's the stingray. Another stingray right there. That's the one I wanted to show you. That was a giant. Oh, one literally just cruised right by my head and I didn't even notice. I just couldn't tell you. This is insane to see in real life. All these fish I see in the wild and it, it looks completely insane seeing it. First, first person, look at that. I couldn't imagine having something like this. I really couldn't. Hey buddy. Oh, he's flying by. So sick. So bad. What are you doing? Huge barracuda right there. And then there's also some massive grunts. A turtle down there. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? A turtle that has like a cracked shell or something is down there. I couldn't imagine how thick this glass is. The view is probably really bad, but you guys get a perspective. From right here to right here is approximately three, three and a half feet, maybe even four, but it goes around the whole entire thing. And then here is my favorite saltwater fish, the redfish. That fish I just showed you, the permit, is actually one of the best fish, if you want to catch one, is one of the best fish to ever catch. They fight so hard, and they are just incredible. And so are everything else in here. The tarpon, the redfish, the barracuda, the stingrays. I mean, I don't know if you're allowed to catch stingrays, but... And then the turtle, that thing is really cool, too, if you ever see one in person. It's really cool to watch them, but you want to stay a little bit of a distance away because it is illegal to touch them and illegal to mess with them when they're mating. Just like that we made it back home and I want to thank all of you that made it this far into the video and if you guys have not already and you made it this far into the video are, are you good why why haven't you already subscribed you should be down there and you should be hitting the subscribe button and also smashing the like button these are two big things that you guys need to do and if you want to be in the contest to win being pinned on one of my videos in the comment section I would do so, I would go down below and comment, and it would probably help you guys out a little bit if you do have a YouTube channel. If you wanted some publicity and you haven't really got any, there's a good way to do that by going down below and leaving a comment. But I'll let that alone because you guys can figure that out yourself, and one of you guys is going to be pinned on every single one of my videos. But I hope you guys like this video. I had a pretty fun time making it, it was very hot outside. Yes, it was very hot outside. I was sweating the whole time. But we saw some really cool things like the tarpon, the permit, the barracuda, the snapper, the turtles that were injured. That was really cool to see. And also some snook and just some really cool things that you're not going to be able to see it in person unless you actually go to Gum Gumpo Limbo. I believe that's the place it's called. But... Without further ado, if you guys want to go follow Jack or you want to go follow Barb's Buzzin, their channel will be linked down in the description below. Go subscribe to them and see what their posts are about. If you guys like it, then subscribe. Watch their videos. 
But without further ado, let's roll the outro.